following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. The inmates are not going to run this asylum. We'll never close this up today. Five, four, three, two, one, bingo! Here I am at six o'clock in the morning. Hello again, everybody. Holy cow, is this early for me? This is Harry Carey. You know, they expect me to be the guest announcer this week on first thing in the morning. <laughs> you can bet Bob doesn't pay me anything for this. Now, what kind of a deal is that? Good morning at 6 o'clock. Thanks for joining us. First thing in the morning, I'm Bob Sarai. And I'm Allison Rosati. Weekdays, you can find us here from 6 to 7 in the morning, keeping you updated on weather, traffic, and news about every 10 minutes. Thank you, Roberta. And, uh, oh, look, this, uh, uh, forgive us, excuse us for a minute here. Uh, attention, a master control, attention videotape room, attention control room. Come on down and get your, your pork rinds, your complimentary box of pork rinds. Uh, we want to thank, uh, remember we were talking about this the other morning? Yeah, I do remember this. On, on the first thing in the morning flight to nowhere, you can Wh get pork rinds uh -huh. instead of peanuts. Come down for your complimentary bag, boys and girls. William Connor of the Evans Food Products Company on South Halstead dropped these off, and we appreciate that. Scott, uh, Scott Childers around? Yeah, hey, you know, right he can here. come by for pork rinds. Send today. those over here. Yeah. <laughs> that looks just don't eat them in the car. No, no, definitely. <laughs> they look mighty good to start that day, though. Put some milk on those things, <laughs> you'll be doing just fine. Hey, look, by the way, this is my kind of woman. You see the front page of the Sun-Times today? Yes. Representative Pat Schroeder. Uh -huh. Tossing uh, the ball around there. See that? That's the kind of candidate we need running the country. Is she running for anything this year? I'm voting for her, <laughs> just based on the size of her mitt. Uh it's uh, 10 minutes after 6 o'clock. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Come on. This is like the one we're in the Wendella here. What's going on here? <laughs> No, I think, I think the, uh, the robot's a little moody this morning. Uh, it's no way to talk about our director. No, the robot. Um, you know, did you, uh, okay. Roberta's here, and uh, Roberta, now, uh, you know, uh, Tillman's tip last night? What was it? He said, uh, go out and buy a Braca umbrella. I, I think, you know, what happened is he got too close to that lightning machine the other day. A and, Brock uh, umbrella? I said, go out and buy a Brock umbrella. I, I think, think it's because so. he's, he had some, uh, some uh, positive ions surge through his head the other day when he got too close to the lightning machine. I and he hasn't been making so. much sense lately. But. I think he said, go out and buy a stock of broccoli. Oh, Does that, that make that more it? sense? Maybe I was just sleepy. <laughs> it's been good weather for the farmers. Hey, we got the rain showers, in fact, about... You know, just for old time's sake, in the carpool, I'm going to start picking up Paul Songus in the morning. Just for the heck yeah, of it? Yeah, I miss him, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's 6.23 now. Now I can just see folks out there playing their air guitars, jamming through the house, and Roberta's here to quiet you down a little bit, tell you about the weather. Roberta? I was playing my air guitar over here, Allison. I don't want to quiet them down this morning. Wake up, enjoy the day. We have sunshine in the forecast. And that's a look at Metro Traffic, and I'm Scott Childers. It's Wednesday, and Bob and Allison are here to check out the Hump Day Papers. Check this out in the Sun Times. You know, Bob, not too long ago you were telling us about casual wear create or allowing people to be more creative mm -hmm. while in Oak Brook Terrace they are just trying to squelch creativity altogether the aldermen there are considering getting matching blazers or maybe they're just trying to look like you know the Channel 7 news team I don't know what the deal is but anyway they're going to be debating whether or not to go out and, and actually use tax dollars to buy themselves matching blue blazers because the, uh, the, the head guy says he thinks it will just look better, you know, and then that'll add a more professional decorum. And this goes against everything that we read about in the other article saying yeah. that you need to have casual clothes to be more creative and come up with those 
money-saving ideas that will save taxpayers lots of bucks. What the head guy's really saying is he wants to eliminate individuality there. But anyway, check, check out the article, and if you live in the community... Tonight. The base cam, though, was on CBS All-Star coverage. They had a, a miniature camera inserted in first base, so when a runner took a lead off first, you could see him. And, but that was stupid, too. You know, all you could see? You, you could see, like, a lot of dirt on the ground. In fact, and, and, you know, Sandy, our director, TV, Sandy Whiteley. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll, I'll show you. If you just get, like, a close-up of my ankle. Here, I'll get... Here, let me show you. Just get a close-up of my ankle. Is this going to hold yeah. you? Yeah, I don't know. Who cares? Here, Sandy, if you just get a close-up of, like, my foot. There, it's the base cam. Isn't that exciting? Cool. Oh, wow, what a great new perspective on the game. All right, that's enough. You know, I could pull a muscle like this. You know, you're actually, Go ahead, jump. We you're pretty you. tall. Uh, I've got too many jump. cords connected to me. It's 629, the weather, traffic, today's news and sports headlines, including uh, the, uh, the highlights of the All-Star game that we couldn't show last night on the 10 o'clock news because the game was still on, when we come back. And when Bob comes back and sits down, we're also going to have a morning cup of coffee with the man who has been mayor of Evergreen Park. For the last 24 years, we're heading to Dutchies for breakfast. And if you're looking for a cheap vacation, that bug-infested train would be a good bet, wouldn't it? It's uh, 6.37. Look, Mark Jean Greco is here with uh, all of these sports. Good morning, Mark. You're on the air. Wake up. Good morning, everyone. Well, the American League dominance and all-star play can... <laughs> jam, Bob and Allison. Jam. That's sports. You know, like you know and the thing is cool. that that was the regular camera at the end. It was the distorted one up until that point. <laughs> now, we couldn't show you last night the All-Star highlights while the game was still going on. It's a legal deal. So look again. Hey, boys, go ahead and roll it. Let's see a little bit of the All-Star game, the actual All-Star game from last night. Since I Places to go, people to see. Check in his watch. <laughs> That's the scene in Evergreen Park at 642. I think our Be Kind of Roberta week is, uh, is going uh, nicely, don't you think? I mean, we, you know, we've got the buttons. They've become a very popular item. People are and requesting them. People are requesting the buttons. Uh, we have uh, our special displays. And uh, above all, and, and this is most important, I think, uh, during Be Kind of Roberta week, another example of the kind of cheap, sleazy, uncalled for shot that I've been guilty of in the past that we're never going to do again. You'll never see this kind of stuff again. Like, for example, what happened about, oh, this was, I think, 10 days ago. Go ahead, Sandy, let's look at this. You'll never see this kind of trash again here. And now here's a woman I'd engage in a battle of wits, but I do make it a practice never to pick on someone who's unarmed. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh. I mean, I, it's, just, it's just so embarrassing, and, and never again will that happen because... This is the week to be kind One to Roberta. And now, with her weather forecast, the lovely and talented, and meteorologically so correct so Roberta Gonzalez. Oh, well, good morning, Bob. And you know what? I really do appreciate all your kindness and support. But if you really want to make big points, big points, the buttons are nice. Just send food this way. What a pregnant woman really needs is food. And none of those pork rinds either, okay? Good morning, all of you. We're going to take a look at the rush hour weather this morning. And Allison, looks like a great day today. All right, thanks, Roberta. 16 minutes now before 7. Apparently, Bob's out making more buttons. Uh, Scott Childers, how's the trip? Well, uh, here you go, Mr. Mayor. Have a complimentary coffee mug from first thing in the morning. Sent in by a viewer. Reach into the box of mugs and uh, grab something there. Be careful that it's not uh, Ken Herman. We need our and, own identity. Uh, there you go. Everybody should have their own identity. I couldn't agree more with you. What did you That's select right. there? I got a cup here. It says KGN on there. I want to thank them for making this uh, possible. And uh, one, of, one of our fine Tribune Company stations, yeah. I think. Is that what it is? I don't know. Is that, is that what it says? What does it say? K K KGN. KGN. What? K K K K K KGN. K KGN. Okay. Where is, that, where is that from exactly, that mug? Gee. KGN. KGN? Is that a TV station? We don't know. We don't know. All right.